you've just raced down to the electronics shop and gotten the latest gadget, a TV, a dishwasher, a microwave, whatever you fancy. You open the box, and rather than seeing the tech you've just bought, you begin to pull out the layers and layers of polystyrene packaging, all of which go straight into the bin and straight to landfill. We have to ask ourselves, is this a, a good use of, of our resources, our finite fossil fuels being wasted in these single-use products? Surely, there has to be a better way to package our products and to better use our resources. Introducing fungi, the miracle solution to all our problems. What if I told you, whoops, sorry. What if I told you that in the near future, fungi could completely replace polystyrene packaging in New Zealand and the wood in our homes? That's right. Fungi has the potential to completely revolutionize the packaging and construction industries in New Zealand. The key to all of this lies in mycelium. Fungi organisms have the ability to quickly grow millions of tiny hyphae, which together constitute the vast network of mycelium. The mycelium can weave through the nooks and crannies of organic material, binding it all together into one huge mass. Essentially, the mycelium acts as a glue to keep all this organic matter together and can be used to form blocks of any size and shape. Now, we can exploit this property of mycelium to manufacture useful and tangible products for New Zealand. First, we need some sort of substrate which fungi can feed off of. This can be almost any uncontamin uncontaminated organic material, and agricultural waste products are ideal for this. For New Zealand, with our strong primary base, we could feasibly use corn stalks, barley husks, and even sawdust for this purpose. Mycelium is then placed into the substrate and it's incorporated together. We then put this, this mix into a plastic mold where it grows for four to five days. The mycelium rapidly increases in volume and eventually completely fills the mold with anything undigested forming part of this new soft fungi structure. Then this material is heated as to kill the mycelium. This also hardens the packaging and prevents it from growing any further. And voila, there's the final product. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but this thing is capable of significant environmental, social, and economic benefit to our country. So if we look at the properties and applications of mycelium blocks, they are a direct substitute to expanded polystyrene for packaging and are in many ways even superior. These mycelium blocks can be produced with just 12% of the energy input and are in themselves carbon neutral. After the fungi packaging has been used, we can simply chuck the block back into the into compost where the organic minerals and all the nutrients are returned to the earth within 90 days. This is a far cry from polystyrene, which we all know can take over 500 years and festers in our landfills. So switching to fungi as our primary source of packaging would clean up New Zealand's environment and reduce future landfill waste. This clean environment is, a, is in itself a social benefit. However, there are actually health benefits to this technology as well. Recently, styrene has, re, has been reclassified by the World Health Organization from a potential carcinogen to a probable carcinogen. Just think about it. Polystyrene, which probably touched all our consumer goods, is slowly killing us every day. We have long relied on these styrene-based products for our packaging, and a switch to all-natural mycelium-based packaging couldn't come at a better time. From an economic perspective, it creates hundreds of blue-collar jobs for the New Zealand economy, from, from the establishment of these new mycelium block factories. Unlike current New Zealand plastic manufacturing, we'd be able to undertake the manufacturing of fungi blocks 100% locally, and in doing so, decrease our reliance on overseas imports. Moreover, the price of petroleum earmarked to rise as it gets more scarce, setting up fungi manufacturing in New Zealand would reap long-term benefits for local businesses and result in a huge cost savings. For a country which consumes over 350,000 tons of packaging annually, this is a viable business um, endeavor. Now you might remember that at the beginning, I said that fungi could also revolutionize New Zealand's construction industry. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Because you see, fungi packaging is simply the most basic application of this technology. Once we have developed, developed the infrastructure to build these mycelium blocks, we can vary the substrate and we, to create stronger and more rigid materials, suitable for the construction of furniture and in the paneling in our homes. So replacing traditional MDF and particle board products. Whilst 
then these products might seem benign. What most people don't realize is that they, they are bound by a material called urea formaldehyde, which is like styrene, known, uh, a known carcinogen. And we are exposed to it every single day in our homes. Mycelium offers an easy and healthy alternative to this binder. More, moreover, early tests have shown that mycelium panels even supersede these wooden products in their utility and can be better insulators than fiberglass, as, uh, can be flame retardant, partially water and mold resistant, and pound for pound can be made to be stronger than concrete. Just take a look. Whoops, just take a look. <laughs> yep. In 2014, 10,000 blocks were arranged into a 40-foot tower at the Museum of Modern Art as part of an exhibit to, to show the strengths of fungi. If we look at this, it's truly remarkable what we can achieve with this mycelium technology. And with that, I leave you with, with one final thought. New Zealand's future is right here in fungi and in mycelium. It's up to us to embrace this technology and to truly put our nation onto a path of sustainability. Gone are the other days of mindlessly wasting our resources. The future is fungi. Thank you.